Hello and welcome back. I'm Lawrence. In our previous tutorial, we have completed the face. So let's keep the face away. Uh, the eye, the nose, and the mouth. I'm going to press Shift and click and con oh, click and drag, make a folder, and rename this as face and hide it in this tutorial we are going to learn how to change the hair because on my previous tutorial I told you that I want my character to be look like this kid over here so I want the hair look exactly like this one so let's hide the body and then zoom in a bit Pick your lasso toolbox and start cropping. Once you finish cropping, you should have two layers, which is the head and the hair. Let's go ahead, rename this as a hair, and keep this head as head. Now, since we are modifying the hair, let's hide this one and select the hair. I think I'm going to delete the whole thing here right click layer via cut and move it aside maybe I'm going to use it in the future so I rename this I'm, I rename this as backup backup hair and hide and drag it to the toolbox so let's get back to the hair go ahead select the hair and we're going to duplicate this by press alternate click and drag after that control T transform right click flip horizontal and let's put it together Just use your imagination. Somewhere there. Alright, I'm going to rename this as Hair 2. Hair 1 and Hair 2. Yes, I think I'm going to need this few part over here. Control J for copy. Three. We have hair one, hair two, and hair three. Control T transform and resize this. So I'm going to put it here. Sh alternate click and drag. Here, here, here. as much as like you like maybe I'm going to another copy control T free transform free horizontal and here once you have everything done start with the hair go ahead select this one press shift on your keyboard select this one and control E to your keyboard to merge now we have your hair Oops. okay select shift select and control merge again yes now we have our hair something like that go ahead pick this tool what you call this uh, merge tools and let's smudge this hair
okay almost done I'll rename this hey don't forget to save now we bring back the head do you see this part over here part of the head is missing so we're going to fix this by bringing the new layer and then press P on your keyboard for brush too big maybe right click we change to 3 pixel that's about it and change to black color and then let's draw the headline rename this from here to here that's about it and one more one more layer for the head fill maybe uh, we can hide the hair now for the head fill we can use similar color go ahead press i on your keyboard and copy the color and then press b on your keyboard for brushes right click change the sizes maybe 30 yes 30 is good and then carefully fill in this uh, blank area something like that that should be okay now that we have the headline and head fill completed we can merge them down by select both of them and control E I'm going to rename this as new head let's try and bring the face okay it's over there the, the hair the hair is supposed to be in front so I'm going to drag it upstairs and then control T let's resize this about there alright almost now let's bring in the ear go to the tools ear ctrl j for copy click and drag bring it outside close the toolbox and hide zoom out a bit we have our ear over here of course it's too big ctrl T right click horizontal before we try and adjust and put the ear to the position we better change the color first go to magic wand select this area con alternate backspace and there you go control d control 3 shift and resize now we have our ear and i think the new head is too way too big so i'm going to adjust it a little bit control d right about there and then bring the ear of course the ear is supposed to be in front of the ha hair let's give some adjustment to the hair right about there I think the ear is too big and let's bring back the body there we go now we have the head completed so I guess I'll see you in my next tutorial which we're going to fix the neck and so on thanks for watching